Hello everyone, welcome to part 55 of Laravel 10 series in which we are first creating the e-commerce admin panel then we will start working on the e-commerce website as well with the, all the new features and now we will continue working on the products module and in this video we are going to manage the family colors dynamically okay uh, so uh, I am checking this thing and uh, I want to do this uh, family colors from the table uh, because it does not look good if we will check i'm going to check it's uh, the fam family colors here you can edit any of the product and here you can check the family colors must come here okay so these are the family colors and i'm going to open its page as well and edit product okay so here i'm going to search for the family colors and see these are the family colors but we are just managing them manually but it does not look good because if any time you want to add more colors it is very tough to add even uh, for editing as well even if you want to disable or enable any color it it is uh, not an easy thing like you can you need to do it like this like uh, you are going to disable like this or you are going to enable like this means you need to uh, open your code so at least we can manage it from the database okay if not from the admin panel otherwise i'm thinking to create the colors module separate color modules in which you can add the family colors okay add remove or edit but uh, to save time we at least uh, we can make it stable so so that you can go to your table and can add edit or remove the colors so that you are not required to open the code or update any time okay so also this code does not look good okay so that uh, we are going to uh, add the forest loop for for the family colors okay so let's do that i am going to create the table see we know that we can uh, create the table with the help of migration but now to save the time i am going to create the table from here itself okay otherwise you can always create the table from migration okay it is recommended to create the table from migration but to save time we are creating uh, from here so i'm going to create the table uh, something like colors okay i'm going to create it like this colors only colors is required and after that i'm going to insert some of the fields uh, i'm going to insert at least five fields are required okay so i'm going to create here id that is auto increment i'm going to make it primary okay click on go and this one is the auto increment as well okay and here uh, after that i'm going to add here the color name okay whatever the color name uh, we are going to mention here like blue black whatever it is then status of the color as well okay so uh, see here created at uh, and updated at columns as well okay so status we can make it one or zero sometime uh, we uh, we want to disable uh, so that we can disable from here only from the table itself okay so status uh, i'm going to put the tiny int i think the um, one or zero so tiny int can uh, uh, help us uh, okay so here it is tiny int okay and color name where care 255 and we know that date time for uh for the credit ad and timestamp for uh, the updated ad okay fine <coughs> see if you want to add one more column color code so in some cases we require the color code because uh like uh, if there is uh, if 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 we want to use them these colors we are going to use in the filters I'm going to show you that where we are going to use these colors like if we are going to open the Amazon okay I am going to open some uh, shirt in Amazon okay so I'm going to uh, going to see here the filters so see here you can see these colors so we are going to insert such these are the family colors exactly these are the family colors and these are uh, only the few colors not uh, we are not going to insert 50 100 colors these are the main colors okay so the user is going to select these colors okay so here you can see if in some cases uh, there is uh, we can also give the color code so that color from from the color code we can easily give the colors here 
and for the multicolor we will give some image for the multicolor okay uh, because i don't think that uh, multicolor uh, we can uh, able to use you can see for the multicolor uh, there is one option we need to use as the image okay like i think it the image is given here if you will check the source code of uh, amazon okay so we will also do in the same way okay so one more column i'm going to add here okay i'm going to save this one first of all i'm going to save and then i'm going to add one more column okay so uh, now i'm going to check the colors table uh, is now we able to change the colors table and uh, now i'm going to add one more column after color name i'm going to add the color code as well so in case uh, we require the color code so that we can add the color code as well here okay so it is not mandatory if you want to add the color code then you can add because we can use then here any type of color like uh, if the color is something like uh, uh, some kind of uh, like we can say the dark blue then there is uh, no that dark blue will not work like this we need uh, the code of that dark uh, dark blue to uh, so that we can give it like this okay so now i'm going to insert the values here as well okay we can though we can insert the values with the help of cedar as well but it will uh, we don't have that much time so that we can now straight away uh, can add the colors okay so we can do one thing here like uh, to save the time like black black is having code one two three four five six okay so status one i am going to go here and browse and now i'm going to export this sheet and then import it will save our time okay so you always require to do such kind of things uh, to save your time when you have some project and you have some deadline uh, then you will not think about the migration command or cedar then you will not think ab uh, about uh, such kind of thing uh, things then you need to just you are required to move fast okay uh, so uh, so you must know all the ways to get the thing done okay and sometimes there is no database available at that time you need to do the migration command or cedar okay uh, if the client does not provide you the database okay uh, if the client does not provide you the php my admin as well okay then those migration command if the client uh, provide you terminal access okay terminal access on the hosting server uh, instead of php my admin then you need to run the migration command okay at that time uh, those command will be really helpful okay so now i'm going to add some of the colors like uh, i'm going to add here black blue brown some main color i'm going to add green gray then multicolor okay multicolor we are going to give it like this multi olive orange pink so these are some of the main colors purple red white and finally yellow okay so we can simply auto increment like this and here if you remember the color code or you can search the, for the color code from the net and can do it like this okay uh, like uh, if I will search the color code for blue, then I can use like the color code of blue. Okay, so it is like this. So I'm going to give it here like this. Okay, like this you can able to insert the color code for all. You can able to search the color code for all colors. Okay. take some time but it will help you in future you can easily make them visible in the left sidebar see multicolor does not have any color uh, we will give the image in the case of 
multicolor okay so we will add the condition when we will work on the front we will add the condition for the multicolor okay White is having FFF, all FFF. Yes, I hope this everyone knows about this one. White and black, black is all zero, always. Yellow, I don't know. Okay, okay, fine. We able to complete this one, and status is one for all. Uh, I'm going to copy cells, okay, and this one. Uh, see i'm going to select this one like this and uh, insert the copy for this one as well and for this one as well i'm going to do it like this and will copy and here now i'm going to do um, format cell and here date and then i'm going to select uh, this one okay like this save yes okay so now i'm going to import uh, we'll clear up the colors we'll make it empty import and now we're going to check colors here and skip the row number one click on import and you can see we able to import all the colors it will save a lot of time otherwise it will take more time okay if you if we are going to insert from here database okay so we able to import from the excel and now all the colors have come now we are going to show these colors here okay and we are going to remove all such condition just we are going to add here the for each loop but before that uh, we are going to create the color model as well okay so i'm going to right click to my project new terminal folder in the mac php addition make model you know how to create the model for your project okay color so i'm going to create the color model and going to add the function as well in the color model okay to fetch all colors from the database uh, so here i'm going to add here public static function colors so that i can able to add all the colors and now dollar colors i'm going to fetch all the colors who are active okay from the color model where status status is one and we are going to get all colors here and go to return these colors and we can also convert these colors to the array okay so let's convert to the array so it it will be easier to use okay and it, it will be easier to debug as well because in array we can easily able to understand as well and also we can use the array function anytime if we are using the array okay so now uh, so here now we are going to add the for each loop here uh, but uh, we are going to call uh, uh, this one here uh, okay so uh, there is one more way we can directly call call here uh, before this one i'm going to call this one so i'm going to use start the php like this and php and here i'm going to call the family colors and uh, i'm going to take one variable family colors like this and equal to um, and i'm going to take the i i can also declare the uh, model like this okay models and then color okay, i can also use it like this and then colors function okay and this one uh, is our family color i'm going to see now family colors first of uh, i'm going to check first of all like this that there must be no issue 
so no issue is coming fine so now in option i am going to add the for each loop here for each i'm going to add this family color as dollar color and i'm going to and for it here i'm going to add and for it and i'm going to make it like this i'm going to now remove all okay so see it will reduce our code so small now it becomes so small okay so now uh, here in option value uh, from the array from the dollar color i'm going to add here dollar color uh, dollar color and then the color name okay color name will come here okay we can also show uh, uh, see here here we are going to show the uh, color name only because there is a color code we are going to use at the front in filters but here we are going to use the color name only okay so once the color gets selected we are going to save the color name only family color name only in the family color table in the products okay uh, sorry in the products table in the family color column we are going to save the color name only okay in the family color like this one okay so now uh, color name okay in value and if family color and uh, family color is equal to this uh, we are going to compare it to this one okay uh, yeah dollar color name i'm going to uh, selector okay and here uh, here once again i'm going to use this one like this and here also uh, we are going to use this color name in place of this red so now we are going to check it works fine or not i'm going to refresh here and we'll see that all the colors are coming here or not and you can see all the colors are coming here okay and we able to fetch these colors from the table okay here you can see black blue brown green gray like this and here you can also see, see black blue brown green gray so all the family colors are coming fine and here you can see one thing like if i will make the status inactive like i'm going to make the status inactive for black and blue then uh, they will get disabled from here i'm going to check it out i'm going to refresh and we'll see the black and blue colors are disabled it will start from the brown now okay because we have disabled this color from the i mean okay so it will just take a few seconds to disable it okay otherwise you need to disable from the code you need to open the code okay though you need to open the add as see open the database as well uh, but the task is easier than the code okay so like this you can able to add here you can able to edit here you can make them disable or enable you can do anything okay instead of updating the code you can manage from the table itself and anytime you can manage from the admin panel itself okay it will make the task further easier for the client okay if anytime client want to manage from the admin panel then you can make the separate module in the admin panel and can give to the client okay uh, so uh, i hope that you can able to do this code at your end and here you can uh, see you can select any of the product color here you can see the uh, product color is given and family color also uh, we are going to edit and we can see the family color gets selected every time if when we uh, select uh, any product okay so i hope that this is clear to you and in the next video we will start working on the product images uh, here only a product images and product attributes are left that we are going to work on these products we are going to add in this products module itself okay we will not work on them separately like i have explained to you in the last video as well we are going to add this one in the add edit product form itself okay so stay tuned for that uh, that's all for now have a nice time goodbye